warm. Hmm. Nope. I'm not gonna let go of you. You have too much body heat for me to leave. No, don't leave. I want to snuggle. Go on. Wiggle all you want. I'm not going to let go of you. Who's the stronger one again? It's not worth trying. Stop complaining. We're going to cuddle up this morning, and you'll like it. It's way too cold to be getting up anyway. Yeah, I tried making myself breakfast, but I got too cold and came back. Maybe it'll warm up later today. But for now, I'm content just to be lying here with you. Why are you still whining? I know that you love it too. Fine. Here, I'll wrap my tail around you so you can hold on to it. I know you're a sucker for how fluffy it is. Yeah, I know you can't resist the fluffy kitty tail. It's just so soft and warm. You just want to bury your face in it, don't you? You know, I've been brushing it more often just for you because I know just how much you love the feel of my fur against your cheeks. Honestly, you need to follow suit. I keep finding knots in your fur, mats on your ears and arms. Like, come on, do I have to clean you myself? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to let you keep being like this. It's simply not acceptable. I think I have to. No. Are you sure? How about just a few little licks? Oh, hush. Stop growling. I'm almost done. There we go. Fixed your ears up a little bit. But honestly, what happened to that well-kept Neko that you were when we first met? Did you just give up now that I'm your girlfriend? No. I'm thinking yes. I don't really believe that it's not that. Like, you were so hot when we started dating. Your fur was so soft and shiny, your tail was so floofy. And now, you just... To be honest, you look run down and beaten to hell. No, sweetie, I didn't mean it like that. I meant it... I guess I did mean it like that. I just... I'm worried about you. I feel like there's a reason you haven't been taking care of yourself. We haven't been going out as much as we used to. I know school has started to ramp up for you, but... Is that it? Has school been getting you down? Oh, hon. Why didn't you tell me? I know your ADHD makes it difficult to organize yourself, so if you told me, I could have helped you. Sweetheart, it doesn't make you weak to ask for help. No, nope, stop it. It doesn't make you weak. Honey... You're being argumentative again. Yes, you are. You know, by doing this, you're only proving my point even more. <sighs> Come on. Flip yourself over and face me. There you go. Now nuzzle yourself into me. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here for you. You know that, right? Through thick and thin, I'll be here for you. Whatever that means for us, I want to be there to support you. Buddy, 
You can't keep attacking yourself for things that aren't your fault. You just have a little more trouble with certain things than other people do. No, that doesn't make you messed up in the head. It just... God, hun, you are just so harsh to yourself. You just constantly rip and tear into yourself with no mercy. It... It breaks my heart to hear, love. You deserve kindness and respect. Oh, you absolutely are disrespecting yourself when you do that. You're just treating yourself with such disdain that it's like you're not even a person. You're treating yourself like trash. You know what? You need to stop talking right now. Every single thing you've said is just an attack on yourself. You need some warmth and positivity. Hmm. Well, you're literally a warm person. So comfy to snuggle up with, especially because you're so affectionate. Aw, I'm soft? That's sweet of you to say. Anyway, don't distract me. I'm trying to build you back up. I love when you get really excited about new things that you're working on. You have so many new ideas and experiment with so many interesting things that whatever activity you got hooked on, you're always just so giddy. It's so adorable. It's a part of your ADHD, I know. There's a little bit of light in it, you know? A little ray of positivity in the darkness. Oh, also, whenever I have a sour day or just wake up on the wrong side of the bed, you have a way of making me feel so much better. I just wish that you could turn that on yourself. You are valuable. You are worth every kind word, every hug, every kiss, every ear scritchy, just... everything. You deserve the world, because that's what you give back. You always give it your all, no matter how difficult the challenge you're facing is. It's... admirable. You know, I'm always willing to share my love with you. But... I don't want this to be a constant thing with us. I don't want to have to keep lifting you up. So... promise me that you'll work on loving yourself. Promise me. Thank you. I know that it'll take a lot of work, but I know you can do it. Well, I think I'm hungry enough to actually go make myself breakfast, even if it is really cold. Hmm? Oh, you don't want me to? Now why's that? Could it be someone is feeling extra affectionate right now? Oh, couldn't be you, now could it? How about this? If you ask nicely, I'll stay and give you some scritchies. Okay, only because you asked me so politely. Having to fight my own stomach every step of the way for this recording. And I know, why don't you just eat something? It'll make my voice worse. I'm so mad right now.